In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to look at a line chart uh, that should tell you the trend um, over time, over the last 25, 30 years in religious service attendance, and you can use the same technique for lots of variables. If I go back and look at a frequencies of the attend variable, You can see that there's nine categories. There's quite a few categories here, and um, these kinds of tables get kind of unwieldy in the in, in the paper, especially then if I look at a cross tab of attendance by year. This is way too big of a table to really give you much information. So what I'm going to do is I want to first collapse attend into a dichotomous variable that is a variable with two categories and then use that dichotomous variable two category variable in a chart um, a line chart so in my syntax file I'm going to create um, a new variable based on attend that's going to be equal to one for people who attend every week or more than every week and zero for everyone else. And then I'm going to look at has the percentage of people who attend or say they attend at least um, religious services every week, has that changed over the last 30 odd years? So to do that, I'm going to use a recode command, but you could also use a set of if uh, statements. So I can recode attend. And I'm going to set zero through six equal to zero on the new variable and seven and eight will be equal to one and I'm going to call this variable attend three. I'll put an execute statement. Then I can run these commands. Commands echo back at me um, in the output which doesn't really give you much help but if you look at the variable view, you should be able to see that the new variable has been created, 10.3. But we note it does not have a label and it doesn't have values, and so I want to change that, make the variable more descriptive. So I'm going to give 10.3 variable label. I'll just call it religious service attendance or I can call it frequency, frequency of religious service attendance. The nice thing about, uh, about syntax is, for example, if I had noticed that I had misspelled something, I can go back and change it and then just rerun it very quickly the next time. Put value labels for attend three. One is um, once per week or more, and zero is less than once per week. Okay. Of course, we're keeping in mind this is what people are reporting, not what they're necessarily actually doing. Okay. So I'm going to run both of these commands, and the commands echo back at me, and then I see now in the variable view that a 10.3 is labeled and I have values as well. I can get rid of the decimal places because it's just a 1.0 variable. Okay. Now, you note also that just by default it created a scale level variable. I might want to change that if I, depending on what I'm going to do with it, but actually that's convenient right now to leave that as a scale variable. Remember, scale variables are those that have order to them and there's equal distance between the order. But the other important thing about um, how the variable is um, listed here is it does determine what SPSS will allow you to do with it. For example, if you have a nominal variable, then you can't take the average of it. Um, whereas if you have the scale variable, you do have the you can take the average of it. And that's why I do want a 10-3 to be a scale variable here um, because I'm going to use the graph 
uh, command to uh, get averages of, of this attendance over time. Um, I should point out that if you take an average of a one zero variable, it gives you um, the proportion of people who are in the one category. So in other words, if I took the average of attend three, say with a means command, attend three, tells me the mean is 0.28. What does that mean? That means that 28% or a proportion of 0.28, 28% of the sample uh, that, that reported their, their religious service attendance said that they attended once per week or more than once per week. Um, I can also use a cross tabs command to go back and just check to make sure that I did this correctly. You can see it's an unwieldy table, but you can see that people who are in the one category in the new variable, they were getting a seven or eight on the old variable, and people who have a zero on the new variable have a, a zero through six on the old variable. Okay. Now I'm going to attempt to do the, the graph and go back to variable view screen and go to chart builder. So pictures worth a thousand words and it's really important to be able to display data and do analysis with charts as well as tables. I'm going to choose a line chart. I'm going to just have one simple line for now. I can drag that into the in chart feature. The element properties dialog box pops up. I'm going to want year in the x-axis and I'll scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to want frequency of religious service attendance in the y-axis. Now I want to pay attention to what the statistic is here. It says value, but really I want the average, the mean. So whenever I change that, I'm going to click on apply. And now I'm, I'm, I have a basic chart. You don't really have to pay attention to this. This is just a stylized version of what's going to come out. Um, now what I really want to do is, you know, basically label the chart, make it as nice as possible and as um, legible and interpretable as possible. So um, I can go to the x-axis and I want to change the label here. I'll just call year of survey. Click on apply. Um, I'm also um, noting that instead of having it automatically determine the minimum, I know that the this variable starts in 1972 and ends in 2008, so I'll make sure that the um, scale range begins and ends at the appropriate times. You don't really want it to end at 2010. Even though there won't be any data for that, it'll have the a label at the bottom saying 2010. It's kind of misleading. Um, I can go to the y-axis and change that. It says mean frequency of religious service attendance, which doesn't really make sense. I'm just going to call it proportion because that's what it is. Then I can click on the title tab and put a title in here. I'm going to call this the proportion of people reporting religious service attendance of at least once per week. Maybe there's a better title, but at least that's something uh, I can apply there. I'm also going to want to put a footnote in where I give the source. If you notice, tables in the newspaper and elsewhere, they tend to have that. And now I can click OK and the chart will be built. There's some problems with it and we're going to talk about that in the next tutorial, but at least you have the beginnings of a chart.